That Fox 6 exclusive tonight, kind hearted until the end. The family of a semi driver killed on I-94 sharing his final journey and everyone he helped along the way. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez is live with the message from his extended family that goes all the way to City Hall. Angie. That's right, guys. This is a family member of Milwaukee Council President Ashanti Hamilton. He and his family spoke to us on the life and legacy of a man who not only took pride in his job, but was always there to help others. He really loved uh, his job. He loved his truck. He loved what he was doing. Milwaukee Common Council President Ashanti Hamilton is opening up on the loss of his cousin Jeffrey Johnson. He says Johnson was one of the two semi drivers killed in last week's horrific crash on I-94 in Racine County. He loved being able to provide for his family. He was somebody that everybody could depend on. Family says Johnson is survived by his wife and his eight children, the youngest just seven months old. Loving person, caring kind-hearted, funny, very funny. That was my dad. His daughter tells Fox 6 more about her dad's love for the road. It was like his passion when he first got his truck. He put up to show everybody the truck. We all got in and took pictures. They also shared a message from the company Johnson worked for that refers to him as their quote, mighty road warrior. He took pride in driving. Like it was something beyond just a job for him. The other semi driver killed was identified by his family as Kenneth Rogers. He's remembered by his loved ones for his strength and courage. Racine officials have not formally identified the two semi drivers killed. Three other people were also injured in the crash. He looked out for his family. He looked out for, for other people, and that's um, the way we want to remember him. For now, Johnson's family takes some comfort in believing their road warrior did all he could to avoid bringing danger to others. He risked his life for, for others. And Johnson's family also wanted to share their condolences with the family of Kenneth Rogers, saying both families are going through a great loss. The investigation into the crash remains ongoing. Live in the newsroom, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. It was a heartbreaking day for both families. Angelica, thank you.